All right, Shalom. This is Parathom, back with another lesson through the Spirit. And in this lesson, I want to get into our Lord Yahweh through His Son, Yahweh Shah, is coming to claim the dominion of the earth. Before I begin, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rechachvadash. That's the Heavenly Father's name, through the name of His Son, all right, through the Holy Spirit. So double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well and who continue to teach us this word. All right, and double and shalom to the Akim that's pushing the word in the four corners of the earth and truth, faith, and the sincerity. All right, so like I said in the intro, I want to get into our Lord is coming to claim the dominion of the earth right now. The, work, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, which the wicked are ruling the world in wickedness. So our Lord Yahweh Shah, all right, through the command of his father, is coming to wipe out the wicked, all right, and set up the righteous. The wicked that the Bible speaks of, all right, are the Edomites. You so -called, the so-called white people are the biblical Edomites, all right, and they're going to be destroyed by our Lord Yahweh Shah, and our Lord Yahweh is going to reign in the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be joint heirs and rule in righteousness with our Lord Yahweh All right? So let's get a, a precept. This is Romans chapter 9. And let's see. What's it written? So the subject matter here in Romans 9... And starting around 13, is Jacob and Esau. So you read verse 17. This verse is talking, is, is liking the Edomites, all right, unto Pharaoh. All right. So Romans 9 and 17. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So the same purpose, the same reason why the Most High rose up Pharaoh, all right, and made him a great kingdom, is so he could be destroyed, and our Lord Yahweh, and our Lord Yahweh name, could be magnified and praised around all the earth, all right. So when you go into uh, Joshua the second chapter, with um, with uh, Rahab the harlot, they had heard. The power that protected the Israelites, all right? That same fear is coming back. Matter of fact, let's let's get that. This is uh Joshua. Let's see. Uh, Rahab high spies. This is Joshua 2 and 1. And Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out sent out a Shittim to men to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, even Jericho. And they went. And came into a harlot's house named Rahab and lodged there. And it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there came men in hither tonight of the it said, There came men in hither tonight of the children of Israel to search out the land. And the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, Bring forth the men that are come to thee, which are entered into thy house, for they be come to search out all the land. And the woman took the two men and hid them and said, Thus there came men unto me, but I wish not which they were. Let's see. Uh, Reuben. Now, I want to skip down to the point, all right? All right, so this is the point right here. Joshua 2 and 9, and it says, And she said unto the men, I know that Yahweh had given you the land, and that your terror is falling upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For we have heard how Yahweh dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when ye came out of Egypt, and what ye did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan, Sion and Og, whom ye utterly destroyed. And as soon as we had heard these things, our heart did melt, neither did there remain any more courage in any man. Because of you, for our Lord Yahweh, power, he is God in heaven above and in earth beneath. 
All right, so this was a woman of the of the nation in fear and in terror of the name of the Lord because what the power had his power had been declared throughout all the lands. All right, same thing happened back then. The same thing is gonna happen now with Esau's kingdom going down. All right, and the Lord Yah Yahweh Shah is gonna be uh, declared Lord of Lord and the King of Kings when he take this man out of power. So let's get this right quick. This is Malachi 1 and verse, let's see, uh, 4. It says, Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. So Esau was impoverished, but he came back, all right, during the time of the Renaissance, he built up the desolate places. Thus said Yahweh hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down so the Most High, just like he allowed Pharaoh to build. He allowed Esau to build, all right? The Edomites, they shall build, but I will throw down. So the Most High going to throw them down just like ancient Egypt. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Because every, everywhere this man go, he spread his wickedness. And the people against whom Yahweh had indignation forever, all right? So Esau going to be known as the wicked, man. All right, so let's go to... Uh, Revelation. Let's go to Revelation chapter 12 and let's see verse 5. Yep, this is Revelation 12 and 7 going into the Edomite power structure, all right? The, the dragon, okay? The dragon is who? Before you go up. You read about the, you read about the, um, let's see, a period, red dragon. You read about the dragon going into the old Roman Empire, all right? Now, the Roman Empire is back today in the form of NATO in the EU, all right? And America is part of NATO, the woman that rides the whole B system, all right? So, this is the center point, the capital of Esau's kingdom, America, all right? So, here it is, Revelation 12 and 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels, which Michael is our, our arch angel, all right, of the heavenly father. All right. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. So you're going to have the righteous angels fighting against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. All right. So this ain't no... Um, Greek mythology, this is the angels with our Lord Yahweh and Michael on chariots, all right? And they're going to fight against Esau's military, all right? You have the American military, you have the Russian military, all these different militaries are going to fight with our Lord Yahweh when he come back, all right? When he come back with Michael and the angels, man. And it says, and, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. All right. Heaven meaning in rulership. So our Lord Yahweh is going to take this devil out of rulership, man. All right. Let's continue to go over here. This is Revelation 19 and 11. It says, and I saw heaven open and behold, a white horse. That's a chariot. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. Our Lord Yahweh Shah. Great precept to back this up is Second Ezra, the 13th chapter. And his eyes was as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, not literal, but symbolically, like that man that had that was on the movie 300. You watched that movie 300? You had, uh, who was that? That. The scriptures call him well, Artaxerxes, but he had Xerxes, right? He sent his messenger, all right, his ambassador to go to uh to go to the three hundred. I forget the 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 man name that was the head. I forget the man the the the, the dude the dude name. All right, but I think his name was Xerxes. Yeah, his name was Xerxes, and then you had the the other one. All right, 
that was on the, I forget, but he had Zerk, they came over there to the 300, came in Zerk C's face, and, uh, damn, I forget, but on 300, you had the ambassador come, all right, and he had the crowns, right? I forget the name, so Salaki. I forget the names, but you had the uh, ambassador come to Leonidas, all right? You had Leonidas, you had Xerxes. Xerxes sent his ambassador, Leonidas. And when the ambassador came, he had the skulls, he had the head, the uh, he had the skulls, all right? And then he had the crowns on the head of skulls, all right? That represent, that taking down kingdoms, that's what the crown, the crown represents. All right, so Salaki on that. All right, that's and he says, and he had a name written that no man knew, but he himself that's going to his stature, his name. All right, it's going to be above everybody's name except for uh, in his position, except for Yahweh's. All right, and he was clothed in a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of the Heavenly Father. That's Yahweh's shot. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, that's the angels, on the chariots. Clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Now his mouth go a sharp sword, and with the, and, and with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treaded the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the Almighty. And he had a, on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So that's what our Lord Yahweh shall come to do. Take down the enemy and raise up. Raise up the righteous, man. All right. Let's get this priest up right quick. Uh, this is. All right, so like you. Let me look for this last priest up real quick. I know it's in Isaiah, so let me go to Isaiah. She's so lucky, bear with me. I just had the precept. Let me type this in then. How it is right here. Yep. This is uh, Isaiah 45 and 14. It says, Thus said Yahweh, the laborer of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia and, it, and of the Sabines, man, the stature shall come over unto thee and they shall be thine. That slaves, and they shall come after thee in chains. They shall come over. This in the kingdom of heaven. The Israelites ruling on the earth. All right. They're going to be in chains, man. All right. And they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee. Beg, call it sir, master, saying, Surely God is in thee, and there is none else. There is no power. So all them other idols is going to be None existent names never to be heard of because our lawyer Howard is coming to make a mighty work as never seen before. Verily, thou art a power that hideth thyself, O God of Israel, the Savior. So, he's gonna be known as the God of Israel, the Savior of the Israelites. Our power is coming to make his name known on the earth. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, all right, unto the elect, all right, get right. Repent, God, Lord, Yahweh, our Lord, Yahweh, is coming, man. All right.